Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, today's topic is image sampling and quantization. This is most important topic as far as this digital image processing subject is concerned. Before this, we'll discuss image formation in an eye. This is the simplified cross section, rather horizontal cross section of a human eye. We know that eye captures an image. I mean, if you want to view some object, then light is getting reflected from that object. Eye is used to capture that image and then corresponding sensation is given to the brain. So as I said, this is horizontal section of a human eye. As far as this part is concerned, you may uh, expect the question like this describes the functioning of uh, human receptor, which is an eye. So as shown in this diagram, there are three membranes. One is cornea, which is shown in this diagram, this external part, cornea and sclera. In continuation with cornea, at the lower side, we have the membrane, which is sclera. This is the membrane sclera. Then chorite uh, and retina. Retina is the most important part. So these are the three membranes. Chorite is the inner membrane, inner to the sc uh, sclera and below that there is a retina. So these are the three important membranes. Now I have written some important points related to uh, the each membrane. So first is cornea. I am talking about this external membrane. So it is basically tough and transparent tissue which covers upper surface of an eye but it does not contain any blood vessels. Then in continuation with this cornea we have at the lower side we have a membrane which is a sclera. This is opaque membrane which is in continuation with the cornea. Then chorite which is below this sclera it is below sclera and adjacent to the retina. Look at this diagram, chorite is below this sclera membrane and which is adjacent to the retina. This chorite contains blood vessels and it provides nutrition to the eye. It is divided, this chorite part is divided into ciliary body. Actually, it contains ciliary fibers. So it is divided into ciliary body and irish diaphragm, this part. This part is called Irish, which is a diaphragm, as well as this is also Irish diaphragm. So it is divided in, it into ciliary body and Irish diaphragm, which is also called pupil. So it acts as this Irish diaphragm basically acts as an aperture and controls the light which is entering in our eyes. Then ciliary fibers. So this part I'm talking about ciliary fibers is basically used to focus an image. So to focus an image, uh, it is done by expanding or contraction, by uh, performing expansion or contraction of the lens. <clears throat> this is the part which is corresponding to the lens. Now lens is basically consisting of 70% of water, 6% of fat and more amount of proteins. Whenever IR that is infrared or ultraviolet rays are uh, falling on the retina, it can, it is absorbed by the protein material which is, uh, which is there in the lens and it can cause, uh, it can produce any damage uh, to the eye. It is basically yellow pigmented. Pigmentation means heavy color concentration. So it is yellow pigmented and it is used to regulate the focusing of an uh, object. Then most important part is retina. This part I am talking about. So it is the in innermost membrane of an eye. It has 100 million sensors. So in the central part of this retina, we have an area which is called fovea, this part I am talking about. The light from an object is imaged on an retina. Then in fovea, there are two major types of receptors, two major types of sensors. One is cons and another is rods. There are six to seven million cons which are located in the fovea. We can obtain, we can resolve fine details by making use of these cones because each cone is connected to the nerve end. So it provides the color sensation. Basically, whatever color sensation we are getting, that is because of the cone. As I said, uh, there are six to seven million cones and each cone is connected to the nerve. Then rods, 
it is again uh, some type of se uh, sensor or receptor numbers are much larger than that of cones but they are not giving fine details so it captures overall image of the field but it is not providing fine details it don't have any color vision but it is sensitive to the low illumination so these are some important points related to the natural receptor that is uh, related to the human eye next part is image formation in an eye uh, you may expect the question like this explain how an image is formed in an eye so this is the diagram uh, related to image formation in an eye we know that if you want to view any particular object then light is allowed to fall on, fall on that object part of the light is absorbed by the object which may be converted into the heat and some portion is getting reflected back that reflected light we need to capture in case of normal photography we can change the distance between lens and the image you, which we want to capture but in case of human eye it's not possible as shown in this diagram the distance between lens and the retina is around 17 mm this is fixed so you cannot change this distance but to view nearby object or to view uh, the object which is far away from the observer the controlling of lens takes place that means lens can be made thicker or lens can be made uh, flattened so by making use of this technique an image is captured and once an image is captured by an eye then corresponding uh, sensation is given to the brain and then accordingly the brain decodes an image so as shown in this diagram suppose observer wants to view some object let us say this is a tree which whose height is uh, 15 meter and observer is uh, at a distance of 100 meter so this distance is 100 meter and height of an object is 15 meter as i mentioned the distance between lens and retina is 17 mm whenever you want to uh, view nearby objects then lens are made thicker this uh, thickening of lens as well as making lens flat is done or controlled by using uh, the fibers which are present in an eye so to view nearby object lens gets thicker and to view distant objects flattening of lens takes place now as shown in this diagram using simple geometry we can say since this height is 15 meters this distance uh, of lens from the object is 100 meter and distance between lens and retina is 70 mm so we can write the simple equation 15 upon 100 i mean this distance upon 100 is equal to h h is the height of an image which is which is formed inside the eye so this h which is height and uh, height of an image i mean i'm talking about this height so it is h which is in mm divided by 17 again we have discussed this distance 17 so from this we can well calculate what is the height of an image which is formed inside the eye so this is the simple technique simple way how image is formed in an eye next and important part is image sampling and quantization ab dekho iske liye pehle aap logon ko sampling theorem mention karna padega the sampling theorem which you have studied in communication digital communication is same uh, which is applicable for image processing so recall the sampling theorem there is one frequency which is called sampling frequency it is the frequency by which you are taking samples of input uh, signals that's what you have studied in communication this frequency should be greater than or equal to 2w where w is the maximum frequency contained in the signal instead of signal we will say in this case it is an image so sampling frequency must be greater than or equal to 2w where w is the maximum frequency now let us talk about the sampling and quantization in case of image processing image we are talking it about a three dimensional image so let us say this is a three dimensional image which is continuous as far as the coordinates are concerned and as far as amplitude is concerned do remember amplitude in case of an image means intensity of that image so this is a three dimensional image which is original image which is continuous in both coordinates as well as amplitude 
we are taking a, a section along line a b <coughs> so by taking this section let us say we will plot सिंगल डायमेंशनल इमेज मतलब एक थ्री डायमेंशनल इमेज है हम लोगों ने एक सेक्शन लिया और उसका सिंगल डायमेंशनल इमेज ड्रॉ किया है सो दिस इज द सिंगल डायमेंशनल इमेज करस्पॉन्डिंग टू द ओरिजिनल इमेज इट इज प्लॉट ऑफ एम्पलीट्यूड एम्पलीट्यूड मीन्स इंटेंसिटी अलॉन्ग लाइन ए बी ये जो रेड इंक से मैंने दिखाया है दीज आर द नॉइज कंटेंट इन इन एन इमेज अब सैम्पलिंग करना है सो so, ये जो टिक मार्क्स इस लाइन पे मैंने ड्रॉ किए ऑल दिस टिक मार्क्स दिस दिस टिक मार्क्स इंडिकेट्स द इंस्टेंट्स एट विच वी वांट टू परफॉर्म सैंपलिंग्स मतलब जहां जहां ये टिक है वहां पे हम लोगों को इमेज सैंपल करना है सो करस्पॉन्डिंग टू ईच टिक मार्क लाइक दिस आई हैव शोन स्क्वायर बॉक्सेस अलोंग दिस इमेज मतलब ये ये जो सिंगल डायमेंशनल का इमेज था सेम यहां पे ड्रॉ किया है ये जो टिक मार्क्स है ये इंस्टेंट है जहां पे हम लोगों को सैंपलिंग लेना है सो आई हैव ड्रॉन करस्पॉन्डिंग स्क्वेयर रिलेटेड टू ईच टिक मार्क मीन्स रिलेटेड टू ईच सैंपलिंग इंस्टेंट तो ये ये जो स्क्वेयर बॉक्सेस है इट इंडिकेट्स वी आर टेकिंग सैंपलिंग ऑफ ओरिजिनल इमेज नाउ दिस इज जस्ट सैंपलिंग वट इज अ क्वांटाइजेशन लाइक इन कम्युनिकेशन वी नो दैट क्वांटाइजेशन इज प्रोसेस ऑफ अप्रोक्सिमेशन मतलब एज इट इज हम लोग इमेज प्रोसेस करेंगे तो उसमें बहुत सारे इंटेंसिटी वेरिएशन होगा बहुत सारे कलर वेरिएशन हो गए सो वी वॉन्ट टू परफॉर्म क्वांटाइजेशन मीन्स वी वॉन्ट टू परफॉर्म अप्रोक्सिमेशन सो आई हैव ड्रॉन अ वर्टिकल बार यहां पर यह बॉटल पे लिखा है मैंने ब्लैक कलर एट द टॉप वी हैव व्हाइट कलर मतलब क्या करना है हमें जो अब सैंपल करने के बाद जो इमेज आया है उसको हम लोगों को कलर इंटेंसिटी असाइन करना है सो दैट विल बी रेंजिंग फ्रॉम ब्लैक टू व्हाइट सो आई हैव डिवाइडेड दिस बार इंटू एट पार्ट जैसे देखो ये जो तीन सैंपल्स है एज वेल एज दिस लास्ट थ्री सैंपल्स आर लेट से it is lying in this area or in this box of white color so i will assign white colors to these pixels likewise we will be assigning different colors uh, corresponding to this vertical bar which is ranging from black to white matlab ye pixels jaise these are falling in a uh, range of white box so isko white color assign karenge aise alag alag colors assign karenge which will be ranging from black to white and total we will be assigning eight colors so accordingly we will get this value which is called this image or this diagram which is called a quantized image basically sampling means digitizing the coordinate values whereas quantization means digitizing means obtain the digital version digitizing amplitude values and amplitude is intensity ab aur ek concept aap logon ko pata hona chahiye as per as the sampling and quantization of image is concerned see sampling is basically related to the frequency in case of image there are ideally infinity frequencies so it is rather impossible to avoid the aliasing image in case of an image processing so what is the aliasing aliasing is basically mixing of the frequencies hum log aise correlate kar sakte hain aliasing means mixing of certain frequencies with original frequency components when this aliasing will takes place if you are not following this sampling theorem lekin image processing mein jaise maine bataya there are various higher frequency components so aliasing takes place uh, i mean you cannot avoid avoid aliasing such easily so to avoid the aliasing or to minimize the aliasing we are supposed to blur an image matlab image jo hai usko blur karenge blur karne ke baad uske jo high frequency components hai wo vanish ho jayenge and then we will perform sampling and quantization so this is about uh, image sampling and quantization so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video